Brand new developments this morning on the government shutdown as new warnings are being sounded about the looming deadline when the U.S. will default and not be able to pay bills. Senate Democrats planning a last-ditch effort right now. ABC's Jonathan Carl is live there for us at the White House. Good morning, John. Good morning, Robin. As the shutdown enters its second week with no end in sight, Senate Democrats are moving forward with their plan to prevent a national default. That sets up a showdown with even higher stakes for our economy. This morning, the Social Security Administration is warning that in just nine days, it will no longer be able to guarantee checks will go out to millions of seniors. Unless Congress acts to raise the amount of money the government can borrow. It's called the debt ceiling, and with nearly $17 trillion of national debt, if it isn't raised by October 17th, the federal government will go into default. The administration warns default could trigger an economic meltdown. President Obama is adamant that Congress must raise the debt ceiling without any conditions or negotiations. We're not going to negotiate under the threat of economic catastrophe that economists and CEOs increasingly warn would result if Congress chose to default on America's obligations. But Speaker of the House John Boehner says there must be negotiations. The Republicans will only agree to raise the debt ceiling if the president agrees to spending cuts. Asked about the impasse, Press Secretary Jay Carney attempted a joke. If the Speaker of the House sticks to that position, are we going into default? If you're saying if the Speaker attaches to the debt ceiling increase uh, a recognition of the importance of motherhood, we might, you know, Except that. I'm, I'm trying to be funny, but nobody laughs, so I apologize. <laughs> We're not going to negotiate over the con Congress's responsibility to raise the debt ceiling. The public, of course, is increasingly disgusted by what they're seeing going on or not going on in Washington. And the latest ABC News Washington Post poll showed majorities disapproving of the president and both parties in Congress. But, George, the biggest disapproval reserved for Republicans in Congress, 70 percent disapproval rate climbing in the last week. Okay, John, thanks very much. That is The View from Washington.